Hey guys, it's another citizen here and today we're going to be talking about mining. So I'm going to break it down into three groups. We're going to be talking about how to outfit your prospector, how to get to the Aeron Halo, which is that most popular mining destination for all miners who don't want to be bothered by pirates. And then we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks, what to do, not to do when you're mining. Well, now without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the first thing is about how to outfit your prospector. I highly suggest to change only two things, especially if you own it. So if you own the prospector, well, congratulations. Now, uh, the only thing you need to buy is the mining head. I highly suggest to go for Lancet. It's gonna cost you in about 23,500 UEC and it's available in Lorville and in a new Babbage. As a consumables, which you can use with this mining head, I would suggest go with a lifeline. And this lifeline is a must, specifically if you are buying a mining head such as Helix or Impact, because these are very powerful, but also have a big overcharge. That lifeline gonna save your life. Now, uh, the next thing we're gonna be changing on our Prospector will be a Quantum Drive. There are two options I would go for a Quantum Drive with the Prospector. It's gonna be Voyage and it's gonna be Flood. The reason for that is that Prospector doesn't carry much of the Quantum Fuel. So the Voyage can be purchased on Cruel 4 or Bajini for 15,600 UC and Flood on Port Olizar or Area 18 for 12,450. Kind of depends on you which one you want to buy or where you are at the moment when you're going to be buying it if you are close to the area 18 you can kind of buy it either if you are on a port oliza then i would probably go for the flop so it's increase your speed and also you know time is money the next thing is how the hell we can get to the aeron halo and why would we do that well, the reason why we're going in an Iron Halo is to be protected from pirates. Once you jump into the Iron Halo, it's uh, hundreds of thousands of kilometers in diameter. It's a big asteroid belt and uh, the chance that someone will kill that quantum exactly at the same time as you do is really low. Now, the thing is how we can get in there. There is no quantum mark. We just know that it exists. Well, so we're going to be originating ourselves an Arc L1. Uh, this is where we're going to be also refining our materials. So I highly suggest to set that as your home point. Now we're going to plot our route to Hurston. It's going to be about 20 million kilometers. Now, when you will commence your jump, then you need to closely look at that range or the distance from Hurston. Once you will be in about 13.6 million kilometer, just hold B to kill your quantum drive. Then you will all of a sudden be welcomed with this beautiful view. Only thing you need to do is just to scan for the mineable rocks and, you know, do your thing. For the tips, there are a couple of things you should know before you start mining. If you already know how to mine and everything, you can skip this part. But if you are new to mining, um, you will definitely appreciate it. So now if you do have these stronger mining heads such as Helix or Impact, then I highly suggest to ramp up the shields in front of your ship. Just in case, you know, you overcharge the rock, it explodes, so you still might be a little bit protected. The way to do that is uh, by using your numeric keyboard. So by pressing number eight, you pull your shields towards the front, which means you will pull that shield energy from the other sides. Um, if you press four, that it's going to the left side of the ship, right, um, sorry, number six, it's going to the right and, you know, vice versa. Now, once you will pull the shields in the front, you will see that you straight away get about a 50% more shield power in front of your ship. Well, you can always reset it by pressing number five and that might sometimes save your life. So thank me later. The next thing is, how do we know what to mine and when? There will be a lot of rocks and you will be scanning them and I know it's very tempting to kind of grab everything, but that's not a good practice. So what are we gonna do in this case? We're gonna be looking for specific materials. I highly suggest, and I'm putting the list down below as well, to mine only these rocks. Is it the Bexalite, Taranite, Boris, Laranite, Agrisium, and Hephaestonite? Also, you can mine Quantanium, but be mindful with the Quantanium as it's in stable commodity. So that means that once you will pick it up and it's on board of your ship, you have exactly 15 minutes before it explodes. Uh, yes, you have the ability to drop or jettison your cargo, but you don't wanna do that. Uh, Quantanium is the most expensive of them all, but I still suggest if you see some rock, just pick that one at the end. For the rocks, how do you know when the rock is really good, even though that you see that Bexalite, you see that Laranite and so on? Well, there is a, a rule of thumb which I like to follow, and that's whenever you see more than 10% of that 
material inside that rock, I would just go for it. Some people say it's about 2.5%, some people say it's about 5 I don't think it's much worth it, especially now when you also need to spend some money on refining that material, possibly even renting the ship to then deliver the cargo and sell it later on. So if you want to be profitable, you just need to go for the best of the best. And in this case, 10% plus everything, even that quantanium, and uh, that would definitely help. Now, once you break that rock, don't pick every single piece you've broken. Always look and scan all these pieces um, and the debris, because you will need to look for the materials, and this is the most viable ones, where it's about 80%, 100% of that material. Because once you will refine it, that's where the money are. Now, with all this knowledge, now you are ready to mine. Now, there is a my mining conclusion, and guys, if you're renting, and if you're renting Prospector, I still highly suggest to go with ROC and Cutlass. It's gonna cost you in about 40,000 UEC per day. Uh, it's rentable on Arcal one as well, and the profit is about 220,000 per full ROC. Well, uh, when you renting, you know, when you're renting Prospector, then uh, it's gonna cost you in about 50,000 UEC, and you can't even change the mining head, you can't even change the quantum drive. So let's make it a little bit tricky. Besides, you still need to refine the material, which is gonna cost you money and deliver it to the destination once you will refine that material. So you might not even have a ship to kind of support it. So you will need another, I don't know, 45,000 UEC, 40,000 UEC to rent your Cutlass. If you owning Prospector, not renting it, then be patient only on always pick the rocks which are valuable and even if you will break the rock and there will be material which is just not worth it don't pick it up go and pick a next rock trust me you will thank me later now mine only the rocks with the high content so because there is a long refining process um, the refining process i think it's viable is the one uh, at the end and that's gonna cost you the lowest amount of money, but it's gonna take in about 20 hours to refine one batch. You can do up to three batches per uh, space station or per refinery. So that's still fine. Like you can go mine your prospector, then you will just deliver your goods to the refinery and then you just like, you know, refine first batch. And then you do it three times and then you can do some missions around and just come the next day, pick everything up and sell it. So there is that kind of delay plus cost involved. So it's not a quick money. Also, it's not the highest money. That's why I would still go for ROC and Cutlass because that's quick. You mine with the ROC, you go to the outpost, you sell, easy. Now guys, that's pretty much it for mining. I just summarize it all together. If you do not know the basics, uh, I might be making a more specific guide for you guys who just never mind, don't even know what the uh, shortcuts on a keyboard are for, and so on. This is not what this video is for, okay? Now, about a giveaway. We have a giveaway for this video, and it's a 1 million UEC, so not a giveaway as you are probably used to. The only thing how you can participate in this giveaway is, first, you need to be publicly subscribed to my YouTube channel, and then you need to have very creative and possibly most funny comment and what you're gonna be doing with this money. I'm gonna be picking up the winner on my next stream. So if the video is released on Friday, then it's gonna be Saturday. And if the video is released on a Saturday, then it's gonna be the next upcoming stream, which is Friday. Now guys, that's pretty much it for me. If you think that I did a good job, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you think uh, that I forget something or you might add something to what I just said or missed, um, leave the comment down below and if you think that everything was just fine I'll consider giving it a like thanks or big thanks to silver joker for donating the 1 million uc for the giveaway thanks to my org and thanks to everybody and all my patreons for staying and being with me even though that i wasn't releasing any videos in the recent past guys i'm another citizen absolute blast making this video for you and i will see you in the verse